Greetings from Caravan Salon 2019, so it's the 2020 range from Rapido. This is a rather unusual vehicle to say the least, and you'll see, you'll see why. It is the 8094DF. It costs here 94,000 euros nearly, kicks off at around 79,000, and you've got a um, number of extras. Uh, you've had an engine upgrade from Fiat Ducato plus the Al Al Alcor chassis. You've got the uh, new uh, nine-speed automatic gearbox. Here it costs just under 3,000. Other brands it costs more than that. <laughs> I think they just make these prices up as they go along. And, uh, okay, a number of other um, extras, the most expensive, which Home Cinema Video Pack. 2,000 water. Uh, euros, not water, sorry, euros. Okay, right. Now, um, Burstner do a van with two loungers. Indeed, there's one, uh, one viewer who's coming here to buy that van from Burstner. It's going to from the UK somewhere, I think, uh, to buy it <laughs> um, to, to Dusseldorf here. Well, this is the big version, if you like, although it's Rapido, it's nothing to do with Burstner. Burstner's in the Heimer group, Rapido's still owned by a uh, French family. And, uh, okay, lounge number one is here, and lounge number two is back here. Ah, now, one positive thing I'm going to say to you, though, is this. I'm in a dark hall and all the lights aren't on in the hall, just some of them have got no lights on in here and the blind is down. That's not the blind, that's the that's the home cinema screen. Yeah, but it's not bad. Right, oh sit sit down here. We've got a table there for your for your feet. Or for your feet and your drinks and your crisps. And watch the cinema. Well that's relatively original. Uh, now bear in mind, you may think, oh, I don't go away in my van in order to watch the uh, films on, on the cinema. Uh, well, yes, I mean, that's one argument, but then again, you know, you should do what you want. And if you sort of you can afford something like this, you're possibly already uh, uh, in retirement, and that might be the sort of thing you want to do. So uh, bear that one in mind. That's a lounge, I mean, it's quite nice. A cinema on wheels, this is what this is. I think it's a lounge, it's very, very comfortable. I mean, it's only really space for two if you're going to be watching a film up there. Oh, sorry. Do it the wrong way. Okay, bit of storage up there. Bit of a ledge inside, that's okay. Oh, I'll show you this. Yeah. That's where you that's where you watch your, the film films from. It's a nice big wardrobe. You certainly would want to change your clothes before watching a film on your uh, in your camper van. And you can close it across here as well. Oh, 
Oh, it's not like a, it's not like a cinema, isn't it? Really? So there you go. You watch the film. Okay. Well, the dressing area is not really a dressing area because the wardrobe is outside. So I think they put the doors on the wrong side. In my opinion. I think the drawer should be behind the uh, wardrobe. Okay, there's a bit of space in here, I suppose. You know, always go into, uh, always go into the cinema and get dressed in there, give the people there um, something else to look at. Hmm. Is this? Oh no, sorry, I thought that I thought the floor was coming up, it's not just something to put down for the show. To protect it. Okay, well if you're watching the film you're gonna to want to uh, uh eat something. Camper van plug. Three burners. Central locking. Look, it's locked. See that? Locked. Open. Kitchen. Drawer. Deep drawer. Right, you got your bed up there. And I suspect you can also use that for sleeping in it as well. The bed is it, it, so there's no bed in the roof. In the, the roof you can actually stand. There's plenty of room in the uh, in the cinema to stand up normally. Oh, and if you don't want to film in there, you can get a television for in here. Uh, and there's your fridge. <laughs> now, if anybody thinks this is a brilliant idea, do uh, do write that down. It's on, a, it's on a Fiat Ducato. You know, the thing about motorhomes is this, you know, it's it's an individual thing, it's what you want, what you want to do. Uh, you know, I know somebody who, uh, what he wanted to have one of these huge televisions and screens and he's now got one, takes up the entire wall. His, his wife doesn't think much of it, but uh, that's what he wanted. And you know, maybe you want a motorhome where you can sort of go somewhere and watch things uh, on a big screen like that. So really it is um, horses for courses. It's unusual. As far as I'm aware, nobody else does something like this. And if it proves to be a popular solution, then other people will be doing it and we'll come back to this in maybe a couple of years time and then we will know. So uh, I can only put it in that light. Maybe you might think, hey that's great, I've always wanted one of them things. I'm a friend of Jack Warner, even though he's been dead now for 50 or 60 odd years or something. And he, he, he would have loved something like this, well maybe he would have done. I don't know. But to me, it seems a bit odd. But then again, you know, maybe you want to use your motorhome to go away and watch films in. And you want to watch films on a big screen. So the motorhome has really, literally, been designed for the video packet which costs 1,970 euros. Okay, let's have a look around some of the other details of it. Can't remember if I'll give you the, uh, the detail. Uh, I think, no I did, 749 long, 235 wide, 289 high, I did say that, I remember now. XL living room, yes, absolutely. <laughs> 